will uh, server part right so before we are going to move to the uh, data modeling part okay so mm -hmm. what you know about mm -hmm. these uh, temporary tables do you have any idea yeah temp tables so what is the usage of these temporary tables so you have a permanent tables right so what are the permanent tables uh, under this particular database uh, these are the permanent tables so permanent is whenever you want to create so you can access the tables uh, anytime and uh, uh, if after your uh, logout and when you come back to the SQL server so the tables are permanent until you are uh, dropping the tables manually right these are the yeah. permanent tables yeah so I told you already about the uh, derived tables right what yeah derived tables so derived table is nothing but instead of writing a table name directly so normally we are writing EMP so instead of writing EMP in place if you are writing any query here it's not a sub query here yeah. the sub query where we are writing the sub queries we are writing either in the where class yeah. or in from class that is sub query if you are writing any query after from class that is derived table we are deriving data from this query for this query I am giving a table name alias name is A clear that is derived table so okay. coming to this uh, temporary table and table variables so what is the usage of the temporary tables and what is the scope of the temporary tables? The temporary means it is just... They are not permanent. Yeah, they are not permanent and those will behave like our normal permanent tables only. Only the difference is these tables will drop automatically once you are closing the connection of the SQL server. There are two kind of uh, temporary tables we have. What are those? Any idea? Global and local. What is the difference? I did not remember but... Okay. Right. I want to create a temporary table create I want to use the MSBA database create a table EMP employee number integer employee name worker 100 okay right so if you want to create a temporary table and especially if you want to create a local temporary table you have to put single hash this is a local temporary table if you are mentioning two hashes that is global temporary global. The table name I am going to give EMP globe. Then what is the difference? So you are giving the single hash, double hash. So the functional device, what is the difference between these two? The difference is this global temporary table lifetime will exist until you are closing the connection. Once you are closing the SQL Server connection, if you are closing the SQL Server Management Studio, then the table will drop automatically that is global temporary table means you can access this table from any session select star from double hash emp globe see employee number employee number. table is working at the same time if you want to access your local temporary table from other session 
what will happen? Oh. Invalid object name. Reason? Oh. The scope of the local temporary table is only for this particular session. What is the session number? 55. You can't access this table from any of other sessions. But the global temporary table, you can access in any session until you are closing this connection. Okay. Okay. Yeah, then global is better, right? Yes, that is situation. The scope, for example, we have written on stored procedure. So, we want to create a temporary table, created. And uh, so, you are using the temporary table within the scope of this stored procedure only. Then you can go to the local temporary table right I have two stored procedures one stored procedure I'm going to use here and the say sorry one one temporary table I have created here and the same temporary table result I want to use in another stored procedure in a different section but within the same connection Okay. I have opened a SQL Server connection in .NET of Java code. I have opened SQL Server connection and I have two procedures. One procedure is going to execute and another procedure is going to execute in another session. Whatever the result I have stored inside a temporary table in the first procedure, the same result and the same table I am going to access in the another table, another stored procedure. So in that situation, definitely you have to use the global only because we are going to use a temporary table in multiple sessions, right? The local temporary table you yeah. can access in the multiple sessions. The scope in which level you are going to use the tables, the result, based on that you have to decide whether you have to use the local or global. 99 percentage we are using the local temporary tables because within a stored procedure we are creating temporary tables and we are okay. using that result so that is only single session then the local temporary table is enough okay okay, okay. so that is about the temporary tables so in what exactly the situation where we are going to use the temporary table? Why you want to store the data uh, temporarily? We have an, sorry, we have another option also to store the data temporarily. What is that? Uh, table variable. Okay. What is a variable? The variable means if you are going to store some value temporarily in memory. So normally the temporary tables where, where the temporary tables will store? In under system databases under tempdb the temp tables will store. You can see over here. See, these are the two temporary tables. This is global, this is local. So now what I want to do, I don't want to use the disk space. The, temp, the, the table variables also storing the data temporarily. You can create a table variable and uh, you can make the same structure as temporary table. Okay, we have uh, created a temporary table, right? The table name is select start from EMP globe you can insert the data into this table insert into EMP values 
100 comma ram comma the equals insert into this table values so we have to insert only two columns one row affected right so you can see what the data is inside you can see here this is the data we have the same way i want to store a data in a temporary table sorry in a table variable how to declare a table variable declare at the rate of emp table employee number integer employee name worker this is the table variable i have declared now i want to insert into at the rate of emp values 100 comma john that's all i want to insert this one see must declare the table variable at the rate of emp but in the table in the temporary table case i have created the temporary table then i have inserted the data in the table variable case i have declared the table variable when i am going to insert the data it is asking again must declare the table variable okay i am going to declare the table variable once again declared right now i want to insert why it is again the showing the same error must declare the table variable at the rate of m we have declared right why it is asking yeah do you have any idea maybe we have to run at a time the, the both why but in the temporary table case we didn't run both at a time right i have run this one individually i have run this individually i have run create creation of this command individually then why in the table variable case we have to run uh, combinedly the reason is the temporary tables are going to store in your disk yeah when you are creating any temporary table it will save inside your database temp database it will occupy the disk space but in table variable case what will happen when you are declaring a table variable it is not using the any database it is not saving anywhere it is not occupying any disk space it is just storing inside the in memory that is a ram okay it is just saving inside a in memory when it will uh, drop so you know that uh, temporary tables when uh, uh, the tables will drop but the table variable when it will drop it will drop immediately once the execution is done so you have started the execution and you have ended here then automatically the table variable will drop so that is the reason what we have to do instead of uh, ending the execution over here you have to end the execution here after the insert statement you have to end the execution clear so that is the reason so we have to do all at a time so i am going to start the execution from the declaration onwards then i am going to insert then i am going to select after you are selecting after it is displaying the data immediately it will drop the table variable see because I have executed all these three commands in a single shot. The only difference is the temporary tables are going to store inside a temp database and occupying the disk space. The table variables are not storing in any database and not occupying any disk space and only these are stored in the in memory. The in memory it will clear automatically immediately the once the execution is done. Clear running? yeah right so in what kind of is the both uh, table variable and temporary tables both we are using to store the temporary data for some time in what kind of scenarios we are going to use the table variable and temporary tables what is the difference between the temporary table and table variable 
right so these temporary tables are uh, acting like a permanent tables okay the per acting like a permanent tables but the table variables are not treating like a variable tables the sql server database engine what it will do when you are going to write down any sql command select some data from a table okay select some data from a table so what will happen the sql server database engine will make a plan if you want to construct a house or if you want to travel to any uh, a particular area so you should make a plan right what is the best way what is the cheap cost and what uh, how we will go the fastly with less cost and more speed so you are thinking like this what is the alternatives what is the options we have finally you are deciding with one plan so i want to go with air asia with <laughs> in way sql server also will make a plan what is the best option and best way means it will apply some statistics statistics means statistics are nothing but uh, uh, what is the price of a, a flight which flight is best and what is the efficient way to go this kind of uh, statistics is a uh, applying the same way how you are doing for uh, when you are doing any project so this kind of statistics it will apply only on the tables whatever it is storing in the database the sql server database engine don't apply any statistics even indexes also on the table variable on the table variable it don't apply any statistics or indexes okay so we cannot apply indexes right yes variable you can't apply in indexes and the sql server database engine itself it don't apply any statistics or performance or techniques on the table variable because it is not related to the database it yeah. is not storing inside the sql server so it is just storing in the in memory this is in memory and you have created a table variable but the temporary tables are beyond the in memory means in the disk it will save in your database when you are fetching the data the data will come from here you are declaring the table variable and it will come over can you apply index on temp tables yes the temporary tables are nothing but a permanent tables only it will behave and act like a temporary permanent tables only the only difference is the lifetime until the tables are existing in your database those are uh, behaving like a permanent table <coughs> okay and is it clear yeah yeah so right so so this is the situation and which one you are preferring in which situation i want to store uh, 10000 records which one you are declare which one you are using table variable or temporary table you just think temp table may know the reason you can you can say it's a performance point of view yeah it will give good performance right yeah yes. right so if we have a 10000 records the index the statistics it's not a big issue if you want to go just 500 meters far from your home do you require a plane aeroplane no 
do you need to think more about this one we don't need to, we don't need to make any plans for this one if you are making a big plan for this there's a lot of time will waste right the same way if the data the volume of the data is very less it's a thousands 10,000 15,000 like that you no need to store that in a disk database and again you have to apply some statistics and the indexes and come back the data don't require it just keep inside the table variable if you have a huge volume of the data then prefer the temporary table because definitely if you want to go to the thousand kilometers if you want to go to the thousand kilometers then definitely in that situation you can spend some time to think how what is the best way to go okay yeah so if, so finally what i am telling if you have a less volume of the data in thousands please use table variable it is very faster no need to apply any statistics immediately it will take the data from table variable why i am suggesting you don't use table variables when you have use volume of the data because if you have one crore of the records if you are going to store that one crore of the records in the ram if you don't have enough uh, memory space in the ram then your system performance your server performance will down am i right yeah yes that is the situation so please use if you have a huge or less volume of the data table variable if you have a huge volume of the data temporary table that's all any confusion over here no yeah, right yeah. you got the uh, clarity about the uh, temporary tables and table variables. the people are uh, confusing with this which one we have to use, mm -hmm. what is the usage and where the data is going to store, all this kind of things. Okay, clear. So now, what exactly the situation to store the data temporarily? Why we need to store the data temporarily? Because every time, whenever you are doing some calculations, you have a data in this table. this data I want to do some calculations and I want to return this data into uh, some I want to use this whatever the data you have calculated I want to use some page so whatever the data you have calculated before you are going to use the data somewhere where you are going to store this data for this you no need to update your existing table right we don't alter our existing table because it's a just temporary calculation. I want to multiply a salary for each employee 10%. I want to just see if I'm giving 10% hike to my employees, what will happen? What is the total uh, expenditure on my company? I want to just check it. So if you want to check it, you are just doing the calculation, the storing in the temporary table and you can see the data. For this temporary calculation, you no need to save and you no need to alter back to your original table so I want to store in a temporary table then once uh, the connection is gone then it will drop the table and also I have a cursor okay you know what is a cursor mm, no Ram, I don't know I don't right. have idea okay so we have a data in this table that is employee number employee name salary this is the data if you want to loop row by row row by row one by one one by one one by one how can you do the cursor what it will do the cursor is also one database object okay so how you are declaring a table variable you can declare a cursor the cursor will take all the data from this query into save into the cursor object. Cursor variable, you can treat like a cursor variable. 
it will save all the information all the number of rows whatever the data is coming from this query to this cursor so then it is easy to fetch record by record record by record record by record record by record at a time it will perform a operation on single row row by row operations if you want to do the cursor will look the records so i'm going to declare a cursor declare uh, emp cursor the keyword you have written cursor when you are declaring a table variable declare at the rate of table variable name and table for what result you are going to declare the cursor for select employee number employee name salary from emp okay so a declare a cursor the cursor name is emp cursor and the keyboard you have to write down cursor for what data for this data for this data then next whatever the cursor you have declared so now all the result from this query will come and save inside this cursor if you want to fetch the data from that cursor, you have to open the cursor. Open EMP cursor. After you are opening this cursor, okay, after you are opening this cursor, if you want to fetch a record, yes, I want to fetch. Fetch next from EMP cursor into where you want to store once you are fetching these three records I want to store in three variables you have to declare three variables to store the values temporarily declare at the rate of employee name where can declare at the rate of salary integer okay so I want to fetch the records from this cursor into these three variables at the rate of EMP number, at the rate of E name, at the rate of salary. Okay. Right. So now, what will happen here? It will fetch the first record. This statement will fetch the record from the cursor. And the first row it will fetch and 7369 will come here. Smith will come here and 800 will come over here. Clear? So, mm -hmm. after you are fetching this record, if do you want to do any operation on this? Do you want to do any calculation? Yes, I want to do a simple calculation. I want to write down select at the rate of I want to just multiply this salary with 1000. So, this operation I want to loop. Then I want to fetch the second row and the same select statement I want to do for the second row also and then third row like that. If you want to loop this one, you have to use while at the rate of at the rate of fetch status equal to zero. So until uh, uh, how long it has to loop, you don't know because how many number of rows here you don't know. How many number of rows this query will return, we don't know. So this variable what it will do, it will find out is there any next row or not. If there is no row after 14, then it will return the value 0. So 0 equal to 0, the while loop will come out. Okay. And in each loop, this fetch statement will fetch the records. Okay. Begin. Finally end it. Then 
operation done close the cursor close emp cursor deallocate emp cursor deallocation means if you are not deallocating the cursor you can't create a cursor with the same name deallocation means completely you are removing the cursor existency from your database Could you please repeat? Deallocate means? Drop a table. If you, are, if you are creating a table, if you are not dropping the table, what will happen? If you are dropping the table, the table uh, don't exist in your database. Okay? So the same deallocation means completely you are removing this EMP cursor object from the database, not from the database, from the SQL server. Clear? Close it, you are closing you, the cursor, you are not removing the cursor. Once you are closing the cursor, you can't fetch the record from the cursor. If you want to fetch the records, definitely you have to remove the, sorry, if you, you have to open the cursor. Can you execute this? Uh... Yes, if I am executing, what will happen? This cursor will loop record by record, record by record. See? First it is looping one record, it is multiplying with 1000. Then again it is looping the second record. It will give, it will multiply with 1000. Oh. But if the result is coming like this way, what you can do? Yeah, what is the use? Come again. What is the use gram? Yeah, the is result is coming like this. Yes. So the result when this cursor is looping, it is giving the result. So until the cursor is looping, all are done. We have to store this result temporarily somewhere. We can't store it permanently in the database. Am I right? Yeah. First it is looping one record, it is giving the result, it is multiplying with 1000, it is giving the result. So where you are going to store that record? So I want to store that record temporarily somewhere. Temp table? Yes, you can use the temp table. Here we have only 14 records, why you are going to temporary table? You can use a table variable. Table Just variable. Declare a table variable, declare <laughs> be tab table at the rate of sorry employee number integer employee name varchar salary integer okay so we have declared the var table variable so now what i want to do i want to insert into this table variable whatever the data is coming from this table whatever the result is coming from here employee number employee name and multiply salary finally Temporarily it will store all the data into this table variable. You can see what result is storing inside the temp table variable. See, I have executed. The result all will come into table variable. It is stored in a single table variable. What happened? When it is looping, it is inserting the first row into table variable. Second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row, sixth row, until fourteenth row. Finally, I have written a select statement over here to see, to display all the data, whatever you have stored temporarily in the table variable. So the execution I have started from here. It is started execution over here. It is ended over here. That is the reason it has declared the table variable. It has stored the data in table variable. And finally, I have selected the table variable. You can't do like this way. I have declared table variable. Then I want to execute all this. No. Must declare 
टेबल वेरिएबल What is the use of cursor run? Cursor. You can do this uh, calculation ah. in other way also, right? Another way means what is the way? So why we need to use cursor? No, you are telling the same functionality. You are telling we can do in another way also, right? Why we have to go? Select row by row. Will it will it decrease the performance? Yes, definitely. Still the same functionality by using while loop and temporary table or table variable also. We are just counting the how many records inside the table, right? And we are looping that many times. Right. The situations where some some situations we have to do this looping. I have hundred tables in a database. Okay, I want to drop all the tables at a time. How can you do? Someone is asking you. I have mm -hmm. hundred tables in a database. I want to drop ninety nine tables. If you want to drop hundred tables, you will drop the entire database, right? Yeah. I want to drop only ninety nine tables. How can you do that? One? Not sure. Right. So how to get all table names in a database? First, we want all the list of tables in a database. Am I right? Mm -hmm. How to get those? We can get like this way. So, in this MSBA2 database, I have these tables. Which table you don't require? Where name not in? I don't want to delete EMP table. Other than this table, all the tables I want to drop. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. So you can do like this way. Declare a cursor drop tables cursor for so you can take this query okay declare sorry the cursor name this one cursor okay now open this cursor then fetch next from this cursor into which variable you want to keep the employee, uh, table names I want to declare one variable table name and varchar into this variable now while at the rate of at the rate of fetch status equal to zero what i want to do i want to just first print this table name okay close sorry you have to begin begin and Close the cursor drop table and deallocate this cursor. See, it is just printing why it is getting all the time. 
the same department number only printing printing only one table same table come again printing same table same printing same table no no so declare a table name this is the variable and this cursor will get all the rest of the tables from this database right open this cursor fetch next from fetch next from this drop table into this variable while at the rate of at the rate of fetch status equal to 0 begin select at the rate close drop table deallocate that's all why it is looping non stoply wait it has to loop only for these tables only okay we forget to put this one am i right the fetch statement otherwise it don't know why now it will get it see these are the tables we are going to draw so i want to prepare the drop statement instead of select statement okay drop table plus select okay these are all the drop statements these are coming different individual result sets i want to declare a table variable table statement and worker thousand okay so i want to insert insert into this table variable and finally select star from this table variable. see these are all the drop statements if you are putting over here if you are executing this it will drop all the tables so in this way you can prepare uh, for thousand tables also drop statements you can simply find out am i right yeah if you have a thousand stored procedures if you want to drop thousand stored procedures how can you do the same way you can get all the procedure names from your database and you can prepare the statements drop all the procedure names uh, this is the one advantage of the process so we will get the list right it won't drop we will, we will get the list. It will prepare the statements. That's all. Prepare the statement. Okay. Yeah. If you want to drop, yes, you can execute the commands over here also. Oh, okay. But I don't want to execute. I'm just preparing these commands. It will give the command, then you can execute here. You can copy all the commands. Okay. Okay. You can't achieve this other by using other functions. And there are some situations also there. I think you will get that in a real time situation. But try to avoid the cursors if it is possible to achieve by using a while loop and temporary table or table variable. Okay. Okay. So it's mm -hmm. clear about uh, temporary tables and table variables and uh, some part of the cursors. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I want to stop the class today. Here it is a festival, Ugadi. Okay. We'll take that tomorrow. Okay. Happy Ugadi Ram. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, and same to you. Okay. I will share this recording video.